Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome back to another video. And as you can see on this beautifully moonlit night, it's best for us to talk about the differences between Eula and Yito. Of course, right? You took the words right out of my mouth. I know. All right. So with all that said, I want to let you guys know before we start this video is that tonight I'm going to be running a giveaway on my live stream to give away one Albedo and one Eula. Yes, I'll guarantee these characters for you as well as I'll be going into detail regarding whether or not we will be doing additional giveaways uh, for Albedo and Eula, depending on uh, the, the crowd I see. So with that said, I hope you guys are going to be showing up. The live stream is going to happen at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on this YouTube channel. You know what's the best way to, 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 to not miss that one is just to subscribe, turn on the bell and just wait for the notification. All right. So I hope to see you guys all there. With that said, let's get on with the video. So now making the comparison between Eula directly with Ito, it, it, there's a there's a reason why I'm specifically only choosing Eula instead of Albedo, because I'm going to be quite frank with you guys. Albedo and Ito, they in my book, they are supposed to go together. Uh, when I build Ito or as I'm planning to go forward building Ito, I do plan to build him in a more monotonous elemental team, meaning the team that Ito is going to be in will consist mostly if not fully Geo and Albedo is going to be one of those Geo characters, which then it kind of becomes counterintuitive to compare directly Albedo with Ito. That's why we're doing Eula. Now, the biggest difference between Eula and Ito, I would say is their setup and orientation for combat. What I mean by that is what you you have to do for Eula and help her succeed is going to be quite different from what you have to do with Ito. And it's also because if you're running Ito, you are essentially funneling a lot of resources into him to have him succeed. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, Walrus, what the hell are you talking about? Ito's not even out yet, man. How do you know what the hell Ito needs and doesn't need to succeed? Really just guesstimations and just looking at what Ito already can do, as well as understanding his skill a little bit, is that Ito has a mechanic where you can play around his charge attacks and it's kind of similar to Eula in a way in that Eula plays around her elemental skill and her second elemental skill to deal that big burst of damage whereas Ito will instead be using his charge attack after you fill up his attack gauge uh, that thing that appears behind his back so both of these characters actually have more similarities than differences so it gets a little even a little more difficult for a lot of people to choose between them but from the get-go Eula in my personal book has a easier time building teams and succeeding with said teams while i do believe if we're talking about consistency in dps output ito is going to have eula beat because ito is not a character that is going to be heavily relying on his burst skill while yes his burst of course provides seemingly a big boost of damage but as you can see, his mechanic plays around his normal and charge attack. Now, of course, time will tell whether this is true at C0 because, of course, I'm evaluating both of these characters at C0. And from the looks of it, I do think Ito and Eula both at C0. Ito is going to be the easier one to use. Granted, you are pairing him with Albedo, with Goro, and likely Zhongli as well. So definitely a more expensive team. And when on the topic of team building, I do think Ito, like like I've been saying is going to be less flexible with team builds because hey you don't have Goro to buff him you don't have Zhongli to shield him you don't have Albedo to amplify more damage likely you're going to be running a, a kind of wacky team where you probably have Ningguang to give him some geo buff through her uh, sliding doors or you're going to run the geo MC to facilitate more geo damage for him and teams can just get really weird let's say you're running Noel in the healer position for each Ito, right so in an ideal situation Ito likely should be paired with the characters I've mentioned before which consists then of three five stars whereas Eula is very different Eula has a variety of teams that she can build into as well as supports that she can work with and not to mention Eula and Raiden Shogun right now has some of the best usage that we've seen in Abyss for quite a while now Eula is 
a well-rounded character that has truly been tested. And now with her second rerun, you don't know when her third's gonna be, right? She ain't like Mr. Worldwide out here having concerts scheduled way in advance for every three months or so. We don't know when Eula's gonna come back. And I think that FOMO factor is going to have Eula just rank much higher comparatively to Ito. But I hope you guys understand my point here in that Eula's biggest con is that her her consistent damage output just doesn't feel as good as some of the other characters and her downtime seemingly is going to be long. A lot of people have been running triple cryo teams just to facilitate Eula with enough energy particles to spam her burst on cooldown essentially and of course that is the goal that a lot of people want to achieve so there are teams that i've suggested in the past that you run eula of course with raiden shogun on top of that you even run diona with her as well and leaving something like uh, official beto in the the last position because a lot of these characters just needs to be present in the team to facilitate eula with the energy that she requires and that in of itself could would be a little tricky for some people as then they would argue well then eula doesn't seem to be so flexible as you would seem her to be right but as you adjust artifacts main stats substat you can facilitate more or less into eula you can have her add characters or drop certain characters to make her work because these numbers are adjustable the point with ito is characters that are being paired with ito are not with him because of some arbitrary stat or certain synergistic issues they are simply there to pour as much of their power into ito as possible i like to call it a funnel strategy i don't know what you guys like to call it when characters that are there are only there because you need to take everything they have and give it to one character a good example of this was someone like razor back in the day if you guys have played razor you understand that razor is a very on field and hungry unit mostly hungry for field time because the way his damage works unlike noel razor's burst disappeared the second you took him off the field that is going to be something that i want to test on ito it's going to be very easy to test you just open his burst and then switch out and switch back to see if his burst is still there because being able to sustain through your burst while swooping off field is going to give ito a level of flexibility in team swapping and situation advantage that characters like Razor just didn't have. I feel like Razor's biggest downfall was his inability to switch out during his burst state which ended up tying him on field for longer than necessary and sometimes buffs run out sometimes you need to switch out and do quick swap to take advantage of certain situations but those windows are essentially missed if you are forced to stay out with Razor because if you took the swap you're going to be missing out on main DPS right. So really crossing my finger here hoping that each Ito is not going to be like that. And of course, finally, we have to bring up cost of acquisition. Now, this can range from anywhere as simple as how primo gems you have to spend all the way to characters that are coming likely after Ito. Because if you get Ito, you are essentially losing out on potentially getting those characters which then they become the cost of acquiring ito going forward i do think zhao and ganyu are making a rerun and we just saw shenhe and yunjin also potentially coming in as well of course we don't know for sure if they're coming next patch but they're probably coming next patch all right so understand that if you're going for ito you will be missing out on those characters most likely if you're a free-to-play player now, once again, let me iterate. Getting Ito, you most likely will be building a mono geo team with Albedo. Eula is going to be more flexible. She's going to have easier time pairing with team and play style wise. I do think that both have their advantages, but I'm going to have to give this one to Ito. The way he is shaping up to be just makes him a lot easier to pilot, especially with Albedo and Zhongli. What real issues are you going to have running an Ito team? Straightforward to the punch very simplistic and it suits his character very well if you're looking for more of a challenge definitely go with eula she's going to give you that extra bit of apm that you're really looking for to show off in front of your friends whenever they're over but understand that i do think at the peak of their performance they aren't going to be too different because they, they kind of fit a very similar play style so you're not gonna go wrong with either one of these characters now i know a lot of people are very turned off by ito's voice and his 
his stature essentially with uh, how he's currently shaping up and looking in games kind of scrawny he doesn't have that you know macho vibe about him but hey all right you have to love him for who he truly is and he's shaping up to be this kind of character so we're just gonna have to live with this reality i have high hopes for ito especially with the team that i have mentioned i do think he's going to be exceptional paired with goro for sure but when it comes to damage let's see exactly how much damage he can do so with that said thank you guys for watching i hope this video has helped you guys a little bit shed some light on both of these characters in direct comparison with each other i'm gonna be getting goro and ito for sure and i'm gonna also be giving away two itos to two different lucky winners all right so make sure to come into my live stream today at 7 p.m to claim your albedo and eula if you're lucky so i hope to see you guys there until then stay safe and peace peace